Good morning and welcome to our first National Involvement Week here at TPAS England. We are delighted that you are going to be joining us on this, our first time of expanding out to a National Involvement Week. We've done National Scrutiny Week for a few years now. We really wanted to extend the focus to really recognise all the great work that many of you as tenants and volunteers in your organisations are doing across the country. I'm really delighted to see this happening and I'm really delighted to see the programme that we've put together to help make sure that you're hearing something exciting and different and something to inspire you every single day this week from Monday all the way through to Friday. And I'd love it if you could get involved as well. You can get involved by social media, by tweeting, by putting things on LinkedIn. There's a National Involvement Week pack that you can download for us. So do get in touch if you haven't already got that. You can obviously sign up to the free sessions that we're running all week. Please go to the TPAS website and you can have a look at them all and how you can sign up to those. Tell everybody that you're involved. And even more, you might want to get involved on Friday, so the end of this week, with our TPAS Impactathon. More of that in a moment. We know the regulatory changes are now here. We're hearing much that is coming out across the sector and how people are responding to those regulatory changes. We hope this week will take you through some of the different ways consumer regulation may well play out in terms of engagement and where you as people working in your organisations, as volunteers in your organisations, can see where what you're doing, what you're involved in, makes a difference to your organisation and communities. That's the hope for this week. Like I say, it's all free, so please do get involved and share with your colleagues. So what does today bring? What does Monday the 14th today bring us? Well, it's Service Influencers Day today. And we've always been clear at TPAS, haven't we, that one of the reasons we think everybody in the sector should do engagement and do it well is to improve services. Absolutely, that's what it should be around, driving ser services for tenants, really improving the outcomes for tenants in your organisations. And I'm delighted that today we're going to hear some great insight from St Ledger Homes, Beyond Housing and Great Well Homes about how tenants in their organisations have worked to influence services. It's great, isn't it, to hear from other people's approaches. So do get involved with that session at one o'clock today if you can. Tomorrow, Tuesday, is Community Doers Day. You might start to see a bit of a theme here on the ers that we keep saying every day. So Community Doers Day, wonderful what goes on in our communities. And tenants associations, block champions, estate reps, community champions, whatever we might call them across the sector. Today's all about, on Tuesday, celebrating the grassroots volunteers making that tangible difference in their communities. And we're going to hear some, some top tips on great community engagement. So join that session tomorrow, and that one's at 11am in the morning. Now, Wednesday, we're not running online sessions on Wednesday because Wednesday's all about our scrutiny conference that's taking place in person um, it's full up, I'm afraid, now. We have sold out a couple of weeks ago on that conference. Um, but we'll hear things over social media, so do keep your eye out on social media for some of the things coming out from our Scrutiny Conference, where, again, lots of best practice being shared. And where's scrutiny now? Where's it going in the future? What's the impact of consumer regulation on how we might do scrutiny? All those things will be being talked about on Wednesday, um, and we'll hear more reports from that as the week unfolds. We're back to the years on Thursday the 17th when it's Decision Makers Day. So tenant board members, tenants involved in the governance structure, in maybe shadow or strategic boards, whatever it is, if you're involved in the kind of real decision making part of your landlord and your that structure, we're going to be talking about all things um, decisions. So tenants in the world of governance and we're going to be hearing from Amanda at Aspire Housing and from Jackie at CHS Group, as well as others, thinking about that. How does that feel? What are the kind of things people are doing? And then Friday, we'll wrap it all up with the TPAS Impactathon. I love that word. Um, and that's going to see us opening up 
our Measuring Engagement Club with Caritas, our policy uh, manager. And we're going to look at some of the recent information and trends that are starting to emerge from the regulatory judgments. Can we start to identify things? Can we start to spot things? Let's discuss those. Um, where are we complying? Where do we think there's still gaps? Um, and then we're going to invite even more of you from across our membership network to tell us what you've been doing and the absolute cast iron impact that you've been having in organisations around involvement. If you want to be involved in that, there is still time. So if you want to get in touch with the team, with Lisa or Louise here at TPAS, details are on the website, please do. We'd love to share what you've been doing with others. It doesn't have to be long, it doesn't have to be telling us all your story. We want to hear some of the impact. Let's share it, let's talk about it, let's help each other across the sector. We'll round it up at the end of the week with some of our highlights, but I know how quickly these weeks go. So please do go and have a look at the website, look at how you can get involved. As I said again, final time I'll say they're all free. Please do sign up and um, see you at the end of the week. Take care.